It's 7 a.m. in Yakutsk, the coldest city on Earth. Lionel is 11 years old and a student at a local primary school. It's Monday morning and he's getting ready for another day of school. Today is a bit warmer than usual, around minus 47 degrees Celsius. Going to school in ice cold temperatures is normal for the children in Yakutsk. Lionel knows the importance of wearing proper clothes to reach school safely. He puts on padded trousers and boots to keep his legs warm, and a warm jacket to make sure that the cold air does not reach his skin. Lionel lives quite far from his school, it takes about 40 minutes to get there. He uses the public transport system since there are no school buses in the city. Luckily, there are lots of bus stops located about 200 meters apart, ensuring that locals don't have to walk too far in the cold. Lionel waits for the bus out in the cold, hoping it arrives fast. He can only wait for a few minutes and sometimes when the bus is delayed, he must quickly return home to avoid getting frostbite. Luckily, the bus arrives on time today and he gets on the bus on his way to school. In Yakutsk, the buses generally have heating system to keep passengers warm during the extreme cold weather. Now, Daniel can finally feel comfortable and warm on his journey to school. Daniel has classes from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. six days a week, from Monday to Sunday. In Yakutsk, the school year runs from September to June like in many other parts of the world. However, when temperatures drop below minus 50 degrees Celsius, all the schools will close to help keep the students safe. But when the temperature drops to minus 49 degrees or minus 47 like today, students still need to go to school. Lionel arrives on time, his first class of the day is a literature class, which is his favorite. At school, they learn three languages, Yakut, Russian and English. The Yakut language, also known as Saha, is a Turkic language and is a native language of Yakut people. Next year, Lionel will move on to middle school. In Yakutia, primary school lasts for four years and students study a total of 11 years before going to university. Gaining admissions to university can be very competitive, so students in Yakutia begin preparing for the crucial Unified State exam as early as middle school. Now we are talking about applying to university and we'd like to share some very special and that's its global admissions. I'm very excited to introduce global admissions because they helped me to apply to study abroad in China. Studying abroad totally changed my life and was a big reason why I started this YouTube channel. Global admissions is an online platform for applying to universities all around the world. It's actually very hard to find clear information about courses abroad and how to apply. Global Admissions has huge choice, fast support, and it's also funded by universities, so applying to many universities can actually be free using the platform. If you are also considering studying abroad, whether it's bachelor, master, PhD, online, or short-term programs, you can check out globaladmissions.com and viewers of this video can book a free call with the Global Admissions team using the link in the description. Thank you Global Admissions for all your invaluable support of changing my life and so many other people. It's break time. Students have to stay indoors because it's too cold outside. Even though Lionel can't play outdoors, he takes every chance to improve his football skills. As you might have noticed, Lionel is not a local name. He was actually named after the legendary footballer. Lionel is passionate about playing football and aspires to become a professional football player one day, just like his idol, Lionel Messi. Teachers are also trying to keep children active by holding indoor activities like dance classes. This way students can have fun and stay healthy even when the weather outside is harsh. The school day has come to end and Lionel is waiting for his father as they have planned to go to the local food market. 
Lionel is the middle child of three siblings, and his father Prokopi is a football coach at a nearby club. They share a deep passion for the sport, often training and watching matches together. Lionel's enthusiasm for football has only grown stronger, thanks to his father unwavering support and guidance. They arrive at the local open air market to get some fresh meat and fish for their dinner. The meat and fish remain naturally frozen, as the outdoor temperatures are even colder than those in the freezer. This market is very popular, and it doesn't matter how cold it gets, it's always open. Local people rely heavily on meat, fish and dairy during the harsh winters. Fall meat is particularly popular and very nutritious. As a lean and low-fat option, it has been an essential part of Yakutian cuisine for centuries. It can be very hard to get and grow fresh vegetables here because the ground is too cold for it to grow. The price of fresh fruits and vegetables is now is very expensive, making them more of a luxury item. After a long day, Lionel and Prokopi return home. The evenings are the favorite time for the family, as they can finally spend time together and relax after a long day. <laughs> Despite the cold, the family takes every chance to go outdoors, not wanting to be confined indoors for nine months of the year. As you can see, we have learned to adopt and embrace the extreme climate, making the most of each day. For the Yakut people, winter time is not actually as difficult as you might imagine. Living in the coldest city, it can be enjoyable with the warmth, love and unity from a loving family. In the end, the most important thing is not necessarily where you live, but with who you live with and the people around you. <laughs>